All right, guys, welcome back to our channel. Mike, what are we doing? We are unboxing a new machine. This one just arrived, this machine, and we cannot wait to get it out. You guys wanna, wanna laugh at us? So we started with a blender a couple of years ago, and then we're like, uh, no, we need something that's much healthier. So, since all the cool kids in town were juicing, we got a, a juicer. But that turned out to be a whole fuss, and it came out with a lot of cleaning time. If you guys know what I mean. So, eventually we started using it less and less until we got away with it. I think we gave it away to uh, the family. Yeah. Then, then we decided we're going to do a kitchen machine that does it all. <laughs> so, we have the kitchen machine, and we still love it. But since recently we started doing smoothies and um, we really want to explore that area even better and even more. So we, now we got back to the blender. You guessed it. This one is from the KitchenAid. Um, let me see what I can give you here to work with. It's 1.75 liter has five speeds. What else? And this is the color that we we uh, went for. And you guys get cream. two cream. You get two years of guarantee. I think that was it. That it, th this is it. And this is it, basically. Right? Anything? Oh, I'm sorry. So, still learning. Still learning. Put up with me, guys. Still learning with this. Uh, so what else is here? What else can we tell you from the box? The diamond blending system with diamond shape, pitcher and stainless steel blades. You know what? I'm going to put the specifications in the description box because this is always more boring than looking at the thing itself. So there it is. You know, we went for this color, Mike, because I don't know it has something like vintage. Vintage color. It has a very vintage vibe, vintage feeling. And that's why we specifically had to have this one because they had them also in red. Let me see if I can give you an up close look. Yeah, and that's our kitchen cabinets are also red. Yeah, but it was a different kind of red. So we did yeah. not want it that um, clash of two colors that are the same, but not really. If you guys know what, we, what, what, what I mean. Wow, it's really heavy. It, it is, is heavy. It's a large yeah. motor. These are the buttons. Of course, we're gonna have to look at the, the it, we just open it as we go. We literally did not have the time to get some sort of a preview. We always like to uh, film our genuine raw reaction to something. But I mean, look at this, it's really big. It's almost two liter. That's big. Yeah. So if you guys gonna use this for, um, I don't know, making a batter for pancakes and all that, this will be sufficient. Or if you want to make smoothies like we will be doing for the two of you, this also should be sufficient because you approximately will get per person a liter. I mean, who, who drinks a liter per person? So yeah, it has the cups on this side and it has, I think the liter, the, the milliliters on the other side. Yeah. I like it. It has. I like the shape. Yeah. Look, it's some sort of a, drop shape yeah because that's the hole where you put the ingredients in yeah it's nice overall it has a very solid feeling when you look at it you feel yeah. like you have something solid yes. yeah mom used to say she hates the look of a product that looks like you want it uh at the at the carnival <laughs> <laughs> and it I always flimsy. Yeah, when it looks like cheap and plasticky and uh so yeah, so you guys if you want to invest in something, maybe it's a good thing you should pay a little bit more for it and get something that you actually will like and durable. So all around 360 what is it? 180? 360 360 360, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. 360. This is it. Like I said, guys, I'm sorry, bear with me. We still you, uh, I am still trying to learn filming with this gimbal that we recently got. And we're doing that to give you guys even better quality videos. 
more sturdy. Smooth. Smooth, yes, yeah, smooth. So, smooth. yeah, I like it. Now, we're going to take it to the kitchen and wait for um, lunchtime. And then I will be making some um, smoothies in it and give you guys a review of how that went. All right. See you in a bit. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you can register your product. They give you this. This is the manual as you would expect, but Mike just noticed that no uh, recipe book uh, booklets are included. Usually that's what you find with this kind of stuff, but I guess everyone is trying to cut back. It's amazing how everyone uh, is trying to cut everyone back. is trying to cut back. We're still pissed about the whole Disney cutback story, <laughs> although we understand it at the same time. So yeah. Uh, this one has a really nice uh, blade and a very strong little uh, engine so it means it can crush uh, ice cubes and you know and blend for you even the somewhat more uh, solid stuff that's what it should do that's what it should do that's what they say that's why we got this this is one of the reasons that was very important for us if you want to be making um, you know like uh, smoothies or because you never know where you're gonna end it, uh, what you're gonna end up using it for. So we just wanna make sure that we've covered all those stuff. Oh, it's turned on. Yeah. So let's turn it on, see how noisy it is. And let's go for this function. That's not bad. No, it's not very noisy. Let's look at the, the crushing of the ice cubes. Okay, so that's a powerful crush. Yeah. This is the pulse. Uh, let's... Okay. Yeah. This is the blender. All right. It really feels, um, I don't know, it feels smooth. I just I just like the way it sounds. So this is it, guys. Now, we're going to wait for lunchtime and share with you some images of uh, us making smoothies. Okay guys, so we're gonna make a smoothie. Uh, the recipe of the smoothie, I will link at the end of the video, so don't worry about that. Uh, before we start, look, you can adjust the length of the cord under the base, meaning this one, there, there is this place where you can just, you know, wrap it around and adjust it, uh, adjust it to your own need. Uh, then, something that I've got to tell you about the functions of all these buttons, so you have um this one is th that no what am i doing here yeah. so this is for hot food if you want to blend hot food this one is for chopping this one is for mixing this one is for pureeing if you want to make something into puree puree this one they call it into liquidifying if something really needs to be running like I very assume like a soup, very running, very smooth. And then the ice cubes, and you can put it here up to a half tray of ice cubes in here. It's a very weird uh, uh, measurement. I have no idea, we're here in Europe, in Holland, I have no, no idea how much that is, half a tray. I think that- Normally you have these trays that come with an ice box. Yeah, okay. And then half of that, I think. And you can clean this one in the dishwasher. Of course, not, not the base. The base is just easy to clean with one of these cleaning cloths. But this one, the pitcher, as they call it, I think, you can just put it easily in uh, the dishwasher. Anything else, Mike? I think this is our, I think I covered all of it. Um, yeah. Have fun. Have fun. And then the speed of the controls, this is what they give you. Just put it on pause and take a look at this. So which I think are we going to use? So, uh, exactly, yeah, hot food like uh, soup, hot sauces, hot drinks and all that. 
Okay, so and mix fruit juice, frozen concentrate, salad dressing for pureeing. If, uh, baby food, uh, meat for baby to make baby food. It's all about babies. No, oh, man. Liquefy. Yeah. Frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. <laughs> okay. Well, no, I mean, there are other stuff that I liquefy without having, oh, or I mean, yeah, liquefying without having it to be like baby food. So there's just a lot of mm. stuff that you cannot come up with right now. Mm. It's just a lot of stuff that you can use this for. <laughs> all right. Let's do this, guys. Enough chit chat. I've chit chatted for too long. Let's do this. See how it blends. Will it blend? <laughs> You can put the ingredients through the hole. Yeah, I can put it through this hole. But I want to, I want to show you guys this this ear here. Oh. That gives a really nice firm grip. And when the yeah. lid is on it, the lid is on it. Yeah, true. So, two hands full of uh, walnuts. Two hands full of walnuts, yeah. We'll be few in a second. That's that. So this is going to be two servings, right? This is two servings, yeah. You guys will see. Shall we just try, see how much this can go and just put the whole zucchini in there? It's not a whole zucchini. It's um, half a zucchini. It's a half a zucchini because I'm doing this for two persons. Okay, and then yeah. pak choy. Let's add some pak choy in there. I'm trying to be as fast as I can. Maybe I think you should uh, cut the zucchini at least in half. No, let's just put that engine to the test, see what it will do. Okay. No? Yeah. I mean, if it, if it can crush. Pak soy. Pak choy, then, oh my god, no, then, it's delicious already, yeah, <laughs> then we have frozen mango, look, look at this you guys, we can put it, all its uh, aspects to the test, one go, okay, what do you know, honey, two tablespoons, this is a tablespoon, this is a tablespoon, then, it's just winging it, well, yeah. You're and just winging it. Kind of, but not really winging it, like completely. Uh, wait, be with you in a second. Then we need some coconut milk. Every we run morning, out of... Every morning I see that little cup in the dishwasher and I think, what's it for? Well, this. Yeah, this. you know, you should have started with that at the bottom. Then you could have used the uh, measuring of the uh, pitcher. Mm. So this is 200, but then we need more. It's two cups. Yeah. But since I'm making two portions, I'm going to be shaking. it. Always shake it before opening. No, I tried to shake this. There is nothing in it. I, uh, for some reason, made the mistake to get the light one. Sorry. Uh, this whole thing is a mistake because I, I was, I actually need just the, the regular coconut milk. So I forgot. All right. So this is it. Remember guys, what I'm doing here is two servings. And then last but not least, four tables of, four tables, four tables, four tablespoons of oat, of oat, just the natural kind, not the one with raisins, not the one with sugar or anything. All right. Looks extremely yummy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, will it blend? So, what's will the it... setting again you're going to use? It's... which one? Um, I think mix or chop. No. Purify. I think it's purify. Look in the, uh, in the instructions. Yeah, I think it was purify. I think it was that one on the right. Is liquefy. Liquefy. Purify. But listen to me. Purify it. All right, let's purify it. Okay, first turn it on. Okay. Oh yeah. You see this lamp? You got the lid on? Yes. Yeah. One, two, three. it a couple of times. Oh. 
first. Oh, and then oh, so you should select pulse first, and then whatever you, uh, whatever you need to do while pulsing. Uh oh, <laughs> that was not a good good idea. Let's no, just go. It is. Yeah, but then it's all over the place now. Yeah. So. All right. I think it's done. I think it's done. No. First. What? We move the picture from the base. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Uh, where should I put it? Okay. Let me um, stop this string. Yeah. Guys, when you uh, liquefy whatever recipe you're doing, don't do pulse because look. It just shot all the way up all into the lid. All that deliciousness lost. is now lost. <laughs> that was stupid of me. I, did, I wasn't expecting it to like explode like this. So yeah, it's just what it is. Live and learn. So there are the smoothies, you guys. Mm. This is such a delicious recipe. I hope you try it out. Did you get the whipped cream? No, I didn't get the whipped cream. Uh, normally, I like mine with whipped cream and then some caramel. No, this this is how it should be. Oh. Otherwise, it's not a smooth, healthy smoothie, huh? Okay. Yeah. So normally, you also add a couple of slices of uh, pineapple, but we're not, we're running out, you guys. But I'm telling pineapple. you, we're gonna be more We're gonna be doing more recipes of these. So if you love smoothies, definitely keep checking back. Yeah, I love pineapple too. Wow, it really did liquefy it. All right, I'm hungry, let's eat. So guys, just to give you an idea, this is, we don't have a big dishwasher. We just we live- European size dishwasher. European size, we live small, so uh, yeah. It's not bad, see? Does it work? Not bad at all, yeah, of course. Does it still um, turn the arm? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, barely, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, barely, but still, yeah. But I mean, it is a huge thing, it's big. Like I said, it's almost two liters, so. But then again, that's really handy for all kind of recipes, so yeah. Mm -hmm.